Welcome to Big Daddy Storytime. We're reading Walt Disney's Princesses. Wow. Can you see Ariel and Tiana, Aurora? There's, there's Snow White, and then there's Belle. Wow. You, would you like to read a story about the princess tales? You would? Okay, let's get started. Snow White. Snow White grows more beautiful with each day. Her stepmother, the queen, keeps her busy doing chores. As Snow White works, singing cheerfully, the prince approaches. The two fall in love at first sight. The jealous queen looks into her magic mirror and asks, Who is the fairest one of all? She is furious to learn that it's Snow White. The queen orders the huntsman to hunt down Snow White, but he can't. Snow White flees into the forest. Wandering alone, Snow White befriends all the forest animals, including birds, fish, and frogs. Finally, she comes upon a small cottage. The cottage is messy, so Snow White washes and sweeps, wash and sweep, wash and sweep. She doesn't know who lives there, but she will find out soon. The sun is setting and the seven doors are on their way home from working in their diamond mine. A working we will go, and then go back to home we will go. They invite Snow White to stay, but long but be long. The wicked queen finds Snow White and gives her a poisoned apple. Snow White falls into a deep sleep. Meanwhile, the prince has been looking for Snow White for a long time. When he finds her, he rushes to her side and kisses her, breaking the queen's spell. The birds tweet cheerfully, tweet, 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 because everything is right in the forest again. Snow White and her prince live happily ever after. Oh boy, that's a great story too. Aurora a princess, Aurora's birth, the evil fair fairy, Malfeasant, curses her. Before the sun sets on Aurora's sixteenth birthday, she will prick her finger on a spindle of a spinning wheel and die. The good fairy, Merryweather, softens the curse with her magic. Princess Aurora will not die, to sleep until woken by love, thy true love's kiss. To protect her daughter, the king and queen burn all the spinning wheels in the land. Then they send Aurora to live secretly in the woods with three good fairies until her sixteenth birthday. Aurora grows up not knowing she's a princess. She is just Briar Rose. On Briar Rose's sixteenth birthday, Prince Philip rides through the forest and hears her singing, La 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 la. They fall in love. When Briar Rose tells the good fairies about her new love, they reveal that she is a princess. Then they hurry her back to the castle for her royal birthday celebration. Da -da -da -da. But the sun has not yet set, and Malfeasant is waiting. She lures Aurora toward a spinning wheel that was hidden away. Aurora pricks her finger and falls into a deep sleep. Prince Philip races towards the castle on his horse, click, 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 to save Aurora. With help from the good fairies, he battles Malfeasant and then rides to Aurora's side. When he kisses the princess, the spell is broken, and everyone celebrates. Soon there will be a royal wedding. Oh, boy! Tiana. Tiana Ray's was, ra was dressed like a princess at her friend's masquerade ball. Tiana wishes on the even star. She works hard in, in other people's restaurants to save money. Now she wishes for the chance to to buy her own restaurant. Suddenly, a talking frog hops up to Tiana. The frog is really Prince Naveen. He, ki he needs a kiss from a princess so he can be turned back into a human. Tiana agrees. But when she kisses N Naveen, she turns into a frog too. Now the two frogs have the same problem. 
Tiana and Naveen escape to the bayou. There, the two frogs meet Luis, a trumpet-playing alligator. He helps the frogs and find Mama Odie, who, Lu who Louis thinks can turn them back into, into humans with her bayou magic. Dancing together under the even star one night, Frog Tiana and Frog Naveen fall in love. Mama Odie teaches them that they need each other, even more than they want to be human. The two frogs marry. When they kiss, magic happens. Since marrying a prince makes Tiana a princess, the kiss turns both frogs back into humans. Naveen helps Tiana buy her restaurant, and they live happily ever after. That is such a great story as well. Ariel. Ariel is a young mermaid who dreams of living on land. Li life humans do, like humans do, that is. With her friends flounder, she finds, swims to the surface to feel the sun on her face. On one of those, on one of those days, she sees Prince Eric on his ship. When a storm throws Eric overboard, Ariel pulls him to safety and falls in love with the prince. Ariel makes a magical deal with Ursula, the sea witch, in exchange for Ariel's voice. Ursula will give Ariel's legs, will give her Ariel her legs for three days. If well, now remember though, if Prince Eric kisses Ariel in that time, she can remain human. If not, Ariel belongs to the wicked sea witch. In human form, Ariel meets Prince Eric. Though Ariel can't speak, Eric finds her delightful on a moonlight boat ride, serenit, serenaded by Ariel's fish friends. Eric and Ariel almost kiss, but then the boat flips over. Ursula disguises herself as a human, and she uses Ariel's voice to trick Eric into agreeing to marry her. Now it is sunset on the third day, and time is running out. Ariel's friends help to break the spell, but it's too late. The sun has set, and Ariel turns back into a mermaid. Eric battles Ursula and defeats her. Ariel's father, King Triton, sees how much Ariel loves Eric, so he turns Ariel's tail into legs. Then Ariel and Prince Eric get married and live happily ever after. Oh boy, that is such a great story as well. Belle, trapped inside an enchanted castle, Belle learns that the master, the beast, is hiding something. He has one last chance to find love and break the spell cast over him. In the west wing, Belle comes across magical rose encased in glass, and the beast gets angry. I warned you never to come here, he shouts. Get out! Belle flees the castle on horseback, but deep in the moonlight woods, she sees wolves approaching. The beast rushes to her rescue, but he is injured. Belle decides to return to the castle to help take care of the beast. As she tends to his wounds, she learns that the beast has a gentle side. With Belle's help, the beast's heart softens. The villagers are afraid of the beast and come to hunt him down. Time is running out for Belle's new friend. He must find true love before the last petal falls from the magical rose. The villagers break into the enchanted castle and attack the beast. Belle runs to his side, but the beast is fighting for his life. She leans down and kisses him just before the last petal falls from the rose and magically the beast turns back into the handsome prince he once was. Belle's love for the prince, for the beast, and now turned prince, and his love for Belle finally breaks the spell. That's great, my friends. What have we learned today, my friends? We learned from Snow White, Ariel, Aurora, Tiana, and Belle that joy, that princess joy, helps us overcome life's struggles. We are winners when we show our love to others. Have a great day, my friends. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more Big Daddy Storytime. God bless.